Imam Hanifa radiallahu anhu was once sitting in the Jami Masjid of Kufa and his teacher Imam Suleiman A'mash rahimahullah was also there. Imam Suleiman A'mash was a great muhaddith. Imam Abu Hanifa narrated and memorized hadith from Imam A'mash. Somebody came and asked a series of questions to Imam A'mash. Imam A'mash thought about it and he was unable to answer the questions. Imam Abu Hanifa was also there and with the permission of his teacher he answered every single question and narrated the hadith as a proof for every single answer. Imam A'mash was amazed and he said to him Ya Abu Hanifa, Oh Abu Hanifa, from where did you get all of these answers? Imam Abu Hanifa said, Ya Sayyidi, Ya Ustadi, Oh my respected and honorable teacher, I found the answers to all of these questions in the hadith which you narrated to me, which I memorized from you. Imam Amash, Rahimahullah, he was amazed by this. Imam Abu Hanifa then narrated all of those hadith with the chain of narration going back through Imam Amash to the Prophet Imam Amash said to him, Hasbuk, it's enough, it's sufficient. What you have just narrated to me in one moment is what I narrated to you in 100 days. It took me 100 days to narrate all of these ahadiths to you and you are narrating them all back to me in one moment. And then he said to him, a statement with which I'll finish. He said, Oh Abu Hanifa, Ya Ma'ashar al-Fuqaha, Oh Fuqaha, Oh Jurists, Oh Mujtahideen, Oh those who have reached this fourth level that we just talked about. Ya Ma'ashar al-Fuqaha, Antum al-Atibba wa nahnu al-Sayadila. You are the doctors and we are just the pharmacists. He said, Wa anta ayyuhar rajul, and you, O noble man, have taken from both of these fields. So he compared the fuqaha to doctors and the muhaddithin to pharmacists. A pharmacist knows all the names of the medicines, knows where each medicine is. Maybe he knows the ingredients of every single medicine. But a pharmacist is not, is not able to prescribe which medicine is a cure for which disease. What do you need for that? You need a doctor, you need a fully qualified doctor. Similarly, the muhaddithin know the ingredients of the hadith. They know the chain of narration of the hadith. If they are of a high rank, they are able to analyze each narrator in the chain and tell you whether the chain is sound or weak or fabricated. But to understand which hadith is to be used where, which ruling is to be derived from which hadith, which hadith applies where and which hadith doesn't. That's not the job of the pharmacists. That's the job of the doctors. That's not the job of the muhaddithin. That's the job of the fuqaha.